Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this uh, video, we are going to take a look at the port filtering screen. Um, you should be looking up here, not over there so much. Um, and this is building off of the last video, uh, which was the routing screen talking about filters. So we decided uh, when we uh, were architecting the MRCC that we wanted to have filtering on both the routing level, which means if I'm routing two to three, we want filters just for that particular connection. But there's also this concept of totally blocking um, uh, MIDI messages um, coming in on a port or going out on a port for any, any routing. And so that's what this particular thing does, this particular screen it allows you to do. Now, in the example we had previously, if I play a sequence on the Arturia and let's see it's routed from 2 to 3 which is going to the FM and what you hear is this concophony because what's happening is the sequence is playing from the Arturia through the MRCC to the FM but it also sends a stop start a start message part of the stop start continue messages in the MIDI in the MIDI language um, to the Volca FM, which starts its sequencer. So now you've got two sequencers going, it's a disaster. Anyway, we showed that um, in the routing between two and three that we could actually filter the stop, start, continue message um, for that routing. But then if we had two routings, we'd have to do it in both. And th this is where it gets really crazy. Like we really don't want the Atoria stop, start, continue messages ever to leak out anywhere. Let's just make make believe that that's our premise typically it is my premise and that's why I actually did this okay so what we do is we go to our port filter screen and um, we go down to the scroll bar and we scroll down to uh, port 2 which is the port in which the uh, beat step is on and we just tap over to uh, stop start continue and hit uh, enable right so now when I hit play So now just the, um, uh, the, the stop start continue message was blocked so the internal sequencer doesn't turn on. Now let's turn that off and route um, 2 to 10 which is the um, Volca base and let's see if this um, port filter, and it should, block the stop start continue message. And it does. So now we've successfully blocked at the port level, not at the routing level, the stop start continue message on port two going anywhere. So if we route both of them, now we've got two routed to three, which is the FM, and two routed to 10, which is the base. And when I hit play, no stop start continue message to go, so we should be running um, the sequence on both of those. Perfect. So that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to block the stop, start, continue messages from the device, the Arturia, that's in MIDI port uh, 2. So that's um, how the port filters work. Again, they're a little different than the routing filters, but they do the same thing, just on more of a global level. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it.